All right, going from the north to the south view is pretty simple due to the fact that we can um, copy to the same exact place when we're underneath here and using the align to same place command. Going to the east and west views, a little bit more difficult, but still there's a way to do that. And I think you should follow this shortcut in order to get these dimensions done fairly quickly. So we are gonna lose a couple dimensions early. I'm just gonna let you know right now, we did not use reference planes to do these. And due to the fact that the reference planes and the dimensions are married to each other, these will fall off and we can anticipate that happening. So it will take us two seconds to replace those dimensions. I'm gonna start with doing a select all of my original elevation on the south view. I'm gonna to go to the filter command. And this time we're gonna have five things. We're gonna have dimensions, we're gonna have lines, and we're gonna go ahead and take the grade line and those lines as well. We will take the text and notes. And um, that seems to be ever, and the reference planes, always the reference planes, the most important one. We're gonna click okay, and we're gonna click on copy to the clipboard once again. So there we are, copy to the clipboard. We're gonna go to the east view, and before I paste these, I wanna make sure that I hide those in the view. We're now gonna click over here and go paste from the clipboard, and this looks like kind of a disaster. And it is a little bit, but you'll be all right as long as you follow these instructions. I'm gonna click paste, and they are not in the right spot. It looks like a lot of stuff is gonna be in the way. As long as you don't click this, do not click finish, this will stay blue, and it will allow you to get them aligned where you want them to go. All right, I can see here that if I go ahead and I grab this right by the um, the bottom here, and I'm going to grab by this reference plane, I'm going to start scooting this over to the spot where I want it to go. And if you hover and you just wait, the dimensions will start to align. So here I have this one foot, which is at the top of the CMU. I'm just going to grab it just up just a little bit. And this is not perfect. You can see I'm right there, right at the one foot. I'm going to let go. I was being very patient so I can see you can see my dimensions are here. Watch that these one foot and two foot will go away due to the fact that there's no reference plane for them. I'm gonna click on finish. It says, hey, there were no reference planes for those. Those fell off. The grade line came back, the door and window line, everything else is here. I just need to quickly replace those dimensions going from here to here, and they will align right there from here to here. Fits in beautifully. There they are. While I'm at it, I might as well go to the west view, do the same thing, right click, hide in view, these elements. We're gonna paste from the clipboard again. We're gonna go ahead and drop it fairly close. Again, I'm not clicking finish. I'm definitely not clicking finish. I wanna grab it again, right by the CMU, that wall, get it close. You'll start to see things, I let it go. I'm gonna grab it again. And again, if you're patient, it will show you exactly where you're aligned. There I go, right there. Looks as everything is pretty close. Click on finish. Those couple dimensions drop off, not a big deal. We'll replace those dimensions because they didn't have reference planes. Align that one right there, align to here. You can go back and adjust accordingly. I would take my this note right here and I would try to move this. Okay. And you can just go minus, minus on that and just go back, add, add, and fix that. Okay. Rename these, pull your lines across all the way. Each elevation will probably take you about three to four minutes to clean up. That's not too bad. This has got to be renamed the West Elevation. That's really important. And once you clean it up, it'll be ready to turn in. 